Hi, I'm Alex Berry with Cobalt Boats. Welcome aboard the Cobalt A40. The boat we're going to be talking about today is primarily the A40C, the, being the coupe model. However, the A40 hardtop has all the same features, so when you look at one, you're looking at both. Welcome aboard. Okay, we have pulled away from the dock and I want to show you the basics of operation of this boat. There are two basic modes. The first one would be your normal modes where you have a shift quadrant where forward, neutral, reverse, and of course advancing those handles farther forward advances the throttles. The other function that this boat has is joystick. On the Merc Cruiser powered boats it's called Axios and on the Volvo powered boats it's called Joystick. In either case you have a controller here that looks just like a joystick on your kids game board at home. With the Volvo joystick there is a button on the back of it that says docking and I push it one time and you'll hear the system chirp. That is telling me that the boat is now in the joystick mode and I can control the maneuverability of the boat with the joystick. It's very intuitive. If I want to spin the boat to the right, I simply turn the joystick to the right and the boat will start to turn to the right. It will literally spin on its axis. If I want to go backwards, I push the joystick to the back and it will go backwards. If I want to turn it at the same time, I can go backwards and turn it and not only will the boat go backwards but it'll turn at the same time. If I want to go forward I simply push the joystick forward. The farther I push it the faster it goes. However in the joystick mode it will only let me go about three to four miles an hour. That's as fast as it will go in the joystick mode. When I'm done maneuvering with the joystick and I want to go back to normal operation I simply can do one of two things. I can simply push the throttles into gear. You will hear it double chirp and now it's back to normal mode. My steering works, my throttles work, it runs like a normal boat. The other thing I can do when I'm in joystick mode is I'll put it back in joystick. I can simply push that docking button a second time and it comes out of the joystick mode and goes back into your normal mode. It's a very, very simple boat to drive. There are two other systems that are worth noting on this boat. One is automatic power trim called PTA, Power Trim Assist. What that does is as the boat accelerates, the stern drive units on the back of the boat that are pushing it through the water actually change their relative angle to the bottom of the boat based on the speed of the boat. In other words, the drives trim themselves. You don't have to worry about them. The only time you would use them manually is if you were bringing them up to the trailering position. For example, if you were putting the boat up on a hoist or on a trailer and wanted to raise the drives all the way up, then you would raise them all of the way up with the power trim button on the throttle handle. The other system is the trim tab system, not to be confused with the power trim assist with the stern drives. These are the plates on the back of the boat that control the attitude of the boat. This system is totally automated. You can still work it by hand, but you don't have to. When I accelerate the boat and it gets to four miles an hour, both tabs go all the way down automatically. That is to help the boat get the boat up and going on top of the water. Then as the boat reaches higher and higher speeds, like above 25 miles an hour let's say, the tabs start to retract. Within the dashboard of the boat, you can't see it, but there's actually a gyro. The gyro is now going to take over and level the boat from side to side based on wind conditions and load conditions within the boat. It's all automated, you don't have to worry about it. If you want to run the system manually, you can do so by simply running the buttons on the automatic trim tab control panel. It's a very nice system and makes it totally trouble free to run the boat. It's especially ni nice when someone who is not real familiar with how to trim a boat or how to run a twin engine boat and a boat with this kind of performance available 
it takes all the guesswork out of it and they will look like an expert right out of the box. I hope you have found this information informative and important to you with your new A40. Keep in mind that your dealer is always available to you as we are in Neodiche at the boat plant. Please keep your dealer advised as to any issues that might arise and let us have the opportunity to work through those with you to make sure that you enjoy the boat to the fullest. Thank you so much.